welcome to the beautiful beast. afternoon from Mandaka. So we hung around uh, for a couple of days um, just to await the swell that was was on its way and I'm so glad we did. Um, it was great to see a, a world renowned uh, surfing spot come alive um, and uh, it was it was great to watch. <laughs> And so our journey began. Uh, we left uh, Bermeo, and uh, our first uh, our first leg will be to uh, a small provincial town called Burgos.
and it's dinner time. So we stopped. We stopped in this little lay-by. Um, we've just been driving up a hill um, that must have gone on for 10 or 15 kilometres or 10 miles. And um, it was long, didn't just heard along really, it wasn't over an issue to the truck. We did have a bit of an issue this morning with brakes. I don't know, we come down a massive hill and um, although I've been using the, the um, gears and doing everything sensibly, when we, um, when we uh, got to the bottom of the hill, we filled up with some fuel because it was cheap. And um, I went to pull away and put it in reverse and, and the brake kind of disappeared. It came back and then, um, but you know, it's the fear of God when you suddenly don't have any brakes. Um, I phoned up my mechanic and he very kindly just gave me a couple of pointers to have a look at, but I didn't find any leaks. Um, so we, we drove around very tentatively for 20 minutes, half an hour, and the brakes didn't really create any problems and we've continued with our journey. Um, the other thing is we're now on a motorway so <clears throat> and we don't go very fast so we'd have plenty of time to react if, if we didn't have any brakes. God forbid that fucking happens. Um, but it does worry you. It creates a bit of anxiety that, that you don't fucking need in your life. But there you go. Anyway, hopefully the rest of the journey will go without any drama. Or they'll be playing this at my funeral, one of the two. And I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, speak to you soon. Cheers! So one other thing we've noticed, yeah. that may be just a British thing. Whilst my wife and I are wearing thongs, and Birkin style stocks and t-shirts the rest of the world is wrapped up in winter coats there you go, you can't see them from there I'll, give, I'll show you a few examples in a minute So rule of thumb, how we pick our uh, places to, to park up for the night is we use an app called iOverlander. And, uh, and on this in, um, evening in question, uh, we parked outside a monastery. And luckily we got there fairly early, so we managed to get in and, and have a look around. And um, wow, what a place. Um, it obviously been there a very long time. Um, but some of the uh, artwork and... The, you know was just amazing um i i was lots of words to come out and quite touched um the work that must have gone in over the centuries is amazing what a what a special place and so the next part of our journey began we um we left the monastery and uh at burgos and made our way towards ciudad rodrigo um the day started with a lot of fog, but uh, luckily in the afternoon it brightened up and uh, made for a very nice drive. Uh, this section was also very straight and and generally um, not too many hills, which uh, which which was quite pleasant driving. So we made good time and we and we did some real miles that day. <laughs>
Now this was totally random that we ended up <coughs> in this uh, little town near the border between Spain and Portugal. <coughs> um, it's a 12th century uh, city walls were built. Um, there's a cathedral inside and um, Wellington actually went there and sieged it and smashed it within seven days. So, uh, obviously British uh, know how in there to go about smashing places up. The, uh, the, even the cathedral though had um, still had the marks of cannibals that had hit it over the years. Um, but what a place. I mean, it was just covered in beauty and uh, we had a great couple of hours wandering around having a look. Typical, isn't it? There's two stalks up there, speaking the language of love. As soon as I switch the camera on, they shut up. There's that more. Way. I reckon that's one of the front gates. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Is it, I should yeah. buy it. I do like a ruin. I know. We could be very happy okay, there. Down, we could yeah. be very happy there. I mean, the view is great, but just imagine the fun you could have with a couple of these. Mr. Davis. Mmm. And a ball ring. I don't suppose they're allowed to use that anymore. Bloodthirsty lot. Probably, you can understand why they um, built this here. This view for miles. You can see the enemy coming, especially the Germans, from all directions. Otherwise known as the Arsenal. A bit of severe damage with them. Oh god. Yeah. It's a bit scary, isn't it? You wouldn't use one of them for cutting your bread, would you? Moat. Defences are good. You could hold off here for a while, I think. Oh, there's Mrs. Hale. Let go. Ciudad Rodrigo. Um, it's all misty and horrible here and not very nice. Oh. And as ever, my wife's trying to interfere. <laughs> so we had a nice day yesterday. <coughs> Good drive. We're now in port. Driven into Portugal. Yeah. Been to Portugal, never driven into Portugal. Yeah. In fact, I don't think I'd ever driven into Spain either. Yes, we did. Yes, we did last year. But I did a few times.
So we arrived at our destination, um, Rue de Pardillo. It's just a beach, um, random beach, which is about 30 miles south of um, Porto. Um, it was a bit of a long drive that day, and the hills um, were very up and down from, uh, from, sp- from as soon as you went across the border, really. Um, and it was also very foggy, but it was just that's just been the nature of the trip. A bit of fog in the morning, and then and then it cleaned up, and then we came to this beautiful little spot, um, and it was bloody lovely. So this beach is called uh, Rio de la Parillo. My wife is down there, metal detecting, and as long as she thinks she's making money, I've met no happier woman. So she's quite content there, and I think that will keep her very busy for days, if not weeks. So, uh, what a place. I keep saying that, don't I? Just empty beach, a couple of fishermen too much going on. We're going to spend a couple of days here. Should be alright. No drama. Which way? We're we walking this way. That's it for this week's uh, episode. Um, unfortunately, it's just been transiting. Well, it is what it is. We've just been driving from the, uh, north, northern Spain, Mundaka, uh, the Basque region down here. Here on the coast and on the beach of Portugal. Um, near we're about, Porto. Near Porto, which is about so a train be. ride away, hopefully on Monday. Anyway, have a good week. Uh, thanks, for, thanks for watching. Bye.